Welcome back, everybody, to the 10th episode here on the Modded Krokgar campaign. And we got a few things to kind of clean up, a few things to go over. Uh, where are you? So you're moving back that way, Malagor, you should be. Uh, do I want to go to war with Scarbrand right now? I mean, I do want to push this way, but Clan Moors is going to be annoying. We also have an army moving up that... Can I get anything f with this army yet? So no. So if I move here... I want to try to see if I can recruit anyone to build in this army right now. We have a lot of uh, things to use here. Vigor loss, don't need that. Cool down, don't need that. Untainted, nope. Leadership. Um, speed... Protection, ambush, physical, I guess we're just going to do growth. Only thing we can really benefit from right now. And as far as benefiting, can't really get anything from there. So let's force march our way up. Uh, perfect. So we do have our five turns for that. Let's put in. What if we get? What if we get put in some? Yeah, I'd rather have horned ones. That needs to go in a four. Beast. Do I want to get any of those two? I really don't. I mean, we could get revivification crystals here. Could get some more skink priests here. I've put in level three. Once that gets up to level three, and we let's just do money for now. In that settlement, anyway. We're going to go check out the rest of our Sotex Trail. Here we go. Building. Oh, I can't look at that one, huh? <laughs> Sotex. Here we go. Yeah, I definitely need Caverns of Sotex. Cause that's that what gives me the benefit for the Croxagores, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, wait, this one does. Okay, okay. So we're almost there. So that means you guys need to build in here. So we'll move you up and you up. Perfect. And now we are out of money. Excellent. All right, now we need to look at who we're going to attack. Let's see. Let's move in. Oh, we do have the Scarbrand himself. That is a decent army. Uh, I, I don't want the Wood Elves to go against me. Where are you guys at? We are turning friendly, so... Yeah, and I can't give you any money, I don't think. Offer payment. Oh, we can. Perfect. Let's just do that. I will probably go war to you eventually. I just want to do it right now. We got him to the south. Are we gaining on him? Oh, we are getting closer. We are getting closer. Hopefully they lose an army. That would be great. Oh, you're getting close too. Man. Gorok or Tic-Tac-Toe? Who would I confederate? Maybe Tic-Tac-Toe, if I'm being honest. Here. Oh, here they are. Are they moving in? How are you not... Wait a second. Oh, you need to calm down. No, I don't want to declare war on you. Join war against Numas. Why not? And I will... Jo Oops. So let's go here. Diplo oh. Initiate diplomacy. Make it Join war against here do. and here. Okay. New Moss is moving in on me. Look at They got one army. They got one location. They're still alive. Watch it be a good army. So, alright. Let's move Quahexla up to... Take care of that Numas army. The assassin. Let's move you up as well. We're probably going to take out Scarbrand, if I'm not mistaken. That kind of seems like the next possible uh, part of our of our great plan. You're moving in. You're going to be healing up. You're good. I probably should move them together. And then we'll kind of start to move west. So I like that. You're moving up. I like that. Crocky. I don't like 
that I'm split on two sides here because I don't want Malagor to come back. I feel like he will. So let's move over here. I want to knock out Clan Moore as soon as I can. And I need my other army to get up there. They're on their way. Let's check diplomacy. Make sure there's nothing else we can do. Call it the Sigmar. You're getting wiped out. I will. I like that. Rune Lord, tech fearless. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and pass turn. All right. This is the kind of uh, hazy part, or the kind of unsure part of the campaign. We've already kind of cleared out most of our immediate threats Thoric is moving in exactly like we need him to and I think it might be time to call war on Scarbrand move in west Marcus Wolfhart what do you want you want a peace treaty you are at war with Itza Itza won't like it if I peace treaty so let's not do that yeah I don't want to do that Crooked Moon oh they're probably going to call war on me too uh, soon too, so i got to figure out them. I wanted to take out Queek Headtaker soon, but haven't done that yet. Is that Malagor up there? Yeah, it looks like him. So I see Malagor. Is he moving away? Krokar control. The Bray Herds come. Perfect. All right, so there's Malagor. Oh, no. Oh no, that's a second army of Malagors. How many... Let's go here. Let's take you out of the settlement. Put you in ambush stance. Boom. There we go. Uh, assassin. Are you guys moving towards Numas? Let's move you in, Quahexla. Okay, not taking any attrition yet. You go over to Numas. We'll meet you halfway. Numas will definitely put you up another level. Let's go ahead and check here. Moving the op moving the opposite way. I don't like that. Moving the opposite way. You guys are getting you guys are getting stronger. I would love for you guys to get attacked what I would love. How are we doing here with... Yes, monster. Oh, I mean, still friendly. That's still pretty good. I guess we'll keep we'll keep that anyway. I guess we will keep that for now. Pestle and Moors, they're going to get wiped out. I still can't believe Numos is still alive. Okay, perfect. So, we have Quahexla moving in. We're going to take out that Numos army. <laughs> Perfect. We have you moving up. I'm going to put you at least into this territory. See what I can recruit. Uh, nothing really worth it at this point. Well, one, I don't have any money to. So, we'll force march you then so you can get a little bit more movement. Crocky, you're moving up. Let's pass turn. I'm in ambush dance. I hopefully I catch somebody. Desolation of Nagash. I will probably give that to Emric. Ah, I, I wonder if I can reach Emric. Oh, there he is. No, that's a, that's Clan Wars. Is that Clan Wars? No, that's somebody else. What's up, Thoric? You probably want me to go to war with Scarbrand, don't you? Yeah, I will, just not right now. I will, just not right now. Yeah, who is that? That's not Clan Wars. Is it? Doesn't look like their thing. Hmm. Maybe that's a sub faction of Skaven. There's the there's the beastmen. Maybe it is. Oh, that is Queaky. Bless source with speed. Nice. All right. Let's move here. Let's catch. Uh, Queaky. Oh, man. He's got some tough units, but we will catch Queaky. Wait, excuse me? 
When did that get raised? What? Oh my gosh. See, this is the... Fighting on multiple levels. There are multiple areas. I can't defend all of them. So we'll have to pause on that for now. There's Numas just out of range. Okay, okay. So if I force march, I can't make it. Interesting. Oh my gosh, that is a that is a crap army. Do you think the assassin has what it takes? I mean, maybe with a Kowaddle in there. Master of the Skies. Do they have an... They have one unit. I am really tempted. And I mean... They're right on the edge of that. Really. You know what? Let's do that. Let's absolutely do that. Let's get the Kowaddle in there. Very expensive unit. But man, this assassin army is going to be absolutely phenomenal. I need some more melee, and those, these units are garbage. But I don't have anything that can do it immediately. All right, let's go ahead and take out this new Moss army. It's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go ahead and take out this new Moss army and hopefully they send them packing. Come on, is that all you're gonna give me, assassin? Really? But his little makeshift army, him being a one-man wrecking crew, try to finish off new Moss. New Moss army. We moved in our our skink skirmishers up front, just to try to get some early shots in. Around the back, we do have our stalkers. That's gonna be moving in. Now on the open battlefield, the pyramid in the background. New Moss is gonna have one last stand. They don't know what to do. They don't know who to go after. They don't know how to reposition their troops. But welcome to the debut fight, I believe, of our regiment of renown, Kowaddle, Spirit of Tipak. I like the healing aura that they drop. A little fire, rainbow. It's a very nice little unit. Very nice unit. But we have our uh, Lunsical. Oh no, this is this is Lunsical. This is a uh, Zlalakati. Zlalakati. And the assassin. With the Kroxagors charging into the heart of their lineup. While our Blessed King Skirmishers are finishing off the Nehekar Warriors. The Horsemen. And then we'll do an ultimate and run tactics. That's all we need. Right now, in the base fight. Assassin is going directly towards, towards their Lord. Their King. The... Kroxagors are doing all they need to do. We have oh, these wasted shots. What are you doing? Oh gosh, guys, the elevation just absolutely crushed you there. They're gonna get their their free shots in. It's gonna do good damage. Now we're getting some throws in from our javelins, our Kuwaddle animations. You're not gonna attack them very much. They move way too fast for you. Kuwaddle's already racking up 16 kills. Uh, look at everybody else here. It hurts significantly. Right. We got both of our Croc scores. 81. 52. The Assassin is going in for the kill. King Sepref. Look at that. Losing significantly. Just get pushed out of battle. Let's finish him off. Let's finish him off, shall we? There we go. And he's gone. With a big swipe of his great mace axe. He's gone. Perfect timing to get the summon of you shop D in here. Right on our regiments of renowned cohort of Huatl. 
they'll be able to stand toe to toe with them. Our Koatl is moving in the side here. Now we have the Assassin going in towards the rest of their units. Ooh, just run right through them. Skink Stalkers are done with their range attacks. Now they're moving in for some melee combat. They're trying to swarm my Javelins. Getting some free shots in here for my Skink Skirmishers from behind. Uh, the Javelins, well, you know, they're not going to do great against them, but they're still going to do okay. Uh, they're at least going to hold the line. They're just skeletal warriors, so nothing, anything crazy. The only thing that's going to suck is they're just outnumbered, so that's going to be the major part. Here, you, you look at a head-to-head -head battle. These skeletal spearmen uh, will lose against my cohort with Javelins in a head-to-head -head battle. They're at half HP. We're only at like three-quarter HP. But when you're outnumbered like this, that's when we start to... Uh, We'll start to get take some hits. The chain route is on, and Assassin wins his solo battle. Chalk up another kill for the Assassin King uh, Separef's army. Stood no chance. 10% uh, healing is good, but we are in our territory, so we're going to be able to heal just fine. Uh, maybe mm, experience looks good for, for pretty much all of them. I guess we'll take 800. Oh, we're not in our territory. Oh, maybe I should have taken the healing. I wonder if I can move out. I can't. Okay. That's fine. I mean, that is to be expected. The dominating that we were just given there. All right, what can I give you? Uh, strength. I mean, more attack power. Uh, assassin, you're just you're there to kill. Cold one mount now. Perfect. You are there to kill as well. So let's give you Blade Master. Excellent. Quahexla, where are you moving? Are we going to move towards Scarp? Oh, you got a couple armies here. Are they... They're not at war with them. They should be, though. Can I get him at war with them? Because maybe they might help me knock him out. Ally mission. Defeat Malagor. I do need to do that. Uh, I'm going to accept the Queek one because guarantee he... Um, are oops. In my all. Oh, okay. Guarantee that we're going to catch them in ambush here. 2,600 for... I guess I'll wait before they call war here. So we're, go we're going, absolutely going to catch him. I mean, it's it's an, it's inevitable. You are going. You're that's gonna be hurting, the healing, but that's fine. All uh, right, you don't have. Do I want to build like the basic Saurus units here? I mean, they're not terrible, regardless. I mean, thirty uh, mid thirties there. Leadership kind of stinks. I would probably do the spear units though, make them a little more defensive. With you guys, I'll probably get you maybe the Colossodon Hunters. Um, Anti-large though, not really a lot of anti-large units that we're gonna be going up against. They, we need four here, so we might. I might have to wait. I have money the situation there. That's perfect. Okay. Well, let's move you up a little bit at a time. I can still get some units along the way. I do need to kind of fill this army out. So you can actually hold your own against somebody. You're going to catch him. The assassin's good. Quahexla. I might even start another uh, I might even start another army down here. We will see. Uh, we always need more money, so let's go ahead and do the money situation here. And anything else that I can do for 2700 Let's get that up. Perfect. 1200 I think that's probably about it for now. All right. Um, uh, for you, the Scar Veteran. Let's give you, I guess, thick skin to make you a little stronger in a fight. All right, so he, I'm pretty sure next turn. Oh, I didn't check the I didn't check diplomacy. That's fine. Uh, pretty sure we're gonna catch Queeky in a ambush. Ninety six percent. Like, I, there's no way they get out of it, right? Maybe even an underway if they try to underway jump us. Did he go back? 
Did wow, we didn't even, we didn't even catch Queek. Maybe he went back. That's crazy. Dringorax. Drazhoeth, can you get over there and do something, please? I don't even know if we can be friends or not. I don't really want to fight the Chaos Dwarves, but you can help me out just a little, can't you? Training dummies. Oh, that's it? Okay. Are you... He jumped over me. How did he jump over me? Wow. Okay. And he can still run. But... He can't run anymore. He can't run anymore. All right, I don't have. I do have my Colossodon hunters, so that helps. What do they have for? Oh, they just have night runners and the night runners. Oh, they have. They do have a bunch of Skaven slave slingers. Zip zaps. Where? Where's the terrain out? Close victory. Oh. Oh, I need to take out the avalanche mortars. Can my flying units do that? I think we can. Let's find out. Exactly. Crocar and Croak move in. Or everybody else stays put. Now, here's the thing. What we're going to do. We're going to slow this fight down because we have some things to talk about. Avalanche Mortars, you know them, you fear them. Tough, tough unit. T very, very tough. The good thing about them is they don't have range, only 250. Uh, so we should be able to cheese just a little bit. Zip Zap, 430, good range. Too far away, though. Couple units here, the uh, Blight Scabs Plague Pack, and then the Ish Ishkish Triads. Nice Regiments Renowned unit. We have our Air Force in the back waiting to move in. In just a moment, they got to do have a lot of slingers. And we do not want to charge in with the slingers. Ideally, what Krokgar is planning. Right, Crocky? Ideally, what he's planning is he's going to charge in single-handedly. Try to blob up the Skaven. So then Lord Croak can get a nice deliverance of Itza on him. Here is comes the Deathwind Globideers. Now, in a pack, that would do significant damage. But against a single entity, you're not getting much damage off. The Zip Zaps are only going to hit in the trees. So these are just wasted ammunition, and that is fine with me. Summoned unit slowing me down. Trying to charge in. That is okay. What we have doing business, doing work, is our grudge thrower on the hill. Keep firing, boys. Keep firing. Now, the rest of our army is sitting here and waiting and lurking. We don't do anything yet, okay? Our couple uh, cold one riders, a couple units of javelins. We got uh, Lunzical. We got Rattok, Ostegadon, trying to summon some units here, but those units are not going to last long. Do not do that. Here we have a Lord Croak getting in a deliverance. Look at that right there. Nice deliverance. You can tell, you can see that one unit, the Night Runners, already routed off the field. Absolutely excellent shot. Another Skaven Slave Slingers and another Slinger is retreating already so now we bring in our air force now that a couple of the range units are off the field especially the night runners probably the best one of their units off the field now ours wasted shots because the pillar in the way that is fine ratok is taking some damage coming in uh, but nothing we can't handle now we have lunzical and our stegadon trying to keep the people off of lord croak i don't want that Here's where they've done messed up, A.A. Ron. They were charging these two units directly at the cohort with javelins. 
you know, the units that are just a filler in here. I don't know. We don't need these guys. They let my cold one riders go directly past them. So say goodbye to your warp lightning cannon and say goodbye to your death globe deers. Two wasted units. Ooh, nice shot there. Yeah, so this is, the Zip Zaps has gotten some great shots in. Uh, Crokey, not Crokey, uh, Crocgar and Queek Head Taker are in a head-to-head -head battle right here. Come on, Grimlock. Show Death, so Queek Head Taker who's boss. Unfortunately, it is Queek Head Taker showing Lord Crocgar who is boss. Just single-handedly knocking him down. Uh, we do have our Fire Leech Bulls, our Air Force here, taking out tons of damage here. Another Deliverance coming in. Ooh. Wiping out three units of Slingers. Exactly what we needed. Gone. They should be gone. Uh, they should be gone as well, but it will not be long before they are. Yeah, so Queek Headtaker is quite the duelist. He is definitely tough. Magical attack, 91 attack, armor piercing, anti-infantry. He's doing good. Absolutely doing good. Got a bunch of debuffs on Krokgar right now. That's probably why. But, man. Trying to bring in Ratok to just get some damage him, distract him. Already routing Krokgar off the field. Rad talks about half HP, trying to go head to head with Queek right now. We're going to see where that leads. Our Cold One Riders are running everybody else off the battlefield. Here, as expected, I mean, they're running off my Cold One, my, um, my cohorts of Javelins, but I don't need them. We have everybody else routed off. I mean, our uh, Grudge Throwers almost 200 kills already. Everybody else is routed. There is a chain route. We could not get a kill on Queek Headtaker, but since they were in Force March, their army is now gone. Man, Queek Headtaker and dish, dish out a beating. Took Krokgar and Ratok all the way down. Single-handedly. And we still didn't even kill him. Woohoo! That's tough. Good for him. I mean, yeah, good for him. Uh, we will heal up. Uh, yeah, we'll heal. Oh, that's a lot of money, though. Uh, we will heal up so we don't have to worry about it. Can I move anymore? Maybe into the Misty Mountains? No. We are going to heal being in our area, so that is good. We got spell resistance. Uh, oh, there we go. We got our Blessed Source Spears. So now those are units, actually, that I should put into this army. Yep. Should put three units in there. So I will drop those in abs right now. Um... On second thought, maybe I won't drop them in right now because those would be really, really good in Crocky's army. And then what would I give? I would probably give these units to him instead. Do like an old switcheroo. Probably keep these blessed here. Give him these two spear, spear ones while I get two more of the blessed spears in there. Yeah, switch them out a little bit. So let's do that. Let's wait to do that. Uh, you, assassin, you need to wait. Ah, they're force marching out, so we gotta move on you. Assassin needs to heal. So let's move, let's move you over towards Numas there. We can do a global, uh, or, wait a, wait a picking minute. interesting this is interesting inter oh, 54 I mean we have an absolute ton let's do yeah uh, oh, oh, oh. do I want to give range there or do I want to have maybe some, some nice infantry units I mean they're gonna be super slow so like do I want maybe yeah Let's do one artillery piece and then maybe a really good infantry piece for him. Leadership, old grumblers, charge defense, 14. 
Yeah, let's do let's do that. They they can be like my front line, you know. Even though, do I want to do long beards with great weapons instead? A little more de defense. Uh, they're armor piercing, so let's let's leave that. Yeah. So assassin, you can get a couple units in there. You're gonna be moving in. You're gonna be getting some units. So let's just move you up basic for now. You're gonna be getting some units of blessed there. Do I want anyone with there? No. I, want, I need to have more. That's the only thing. Is I need to have more than what I have here. Let's put a couple of you in there. That would be that would be okay. Quahexla. Now, where are we moving? We're not moving south yet. So we're moving west. Okay. Let's heal. Let's start moving out west. I think at this point, the assassin might be his own army. I think he can withstand it. Uh, I just wish that I would have been building more uh, Croxagor ones. Uh, Kimri, let's definitely put you up. Aha, here we go. Uh, we don't have... Oh, well, well, well. That'll help trade. Uh, 150 to... Oh, but it's also going to help growth, too. So let's do that. And then we're out of money yet again. No problem. No problem. Crocky, you need to heal. Plus, what, what do you want to... What should I give you? Sauron, Savagery, Feral Dinosaur Units. Am I going to have a lot of those? I see, I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of Feral ones. I mean, maybe a Feral Dreadsarion eventually. Uh, the Carnosaurs definitely probably need... Oh, the Blessed Carnosaurs. Yeah, let's do that. Even though I don't have any yet, I will. And I'll definitely put some Carnosaurs in there because Carnosaurs are nice to have. Um, infantry line busters, you know. Ratak, what do you have here? Rolling Skies. Croaky boy. Uh, energy reserved. Okay. Shield. Damage resistance when casting. Let's do that then. Perfect. I think that's it for this turn. You're moving in. Crocky. Yeah, I'm worried about over here. I'm pretty sure he's going to take Carrick Asgal, which definitely stinks. Because I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded keeping this area. Um, I at least had it's, it's unpleasant, which is fine. The rest of these army areas are. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. Uh, the rest of these armies are wasteland. That's what I would have given to other people, but I wouldn't mind keeping at least these three. Um, but Clan Moore's is really annoying me there, so. He's probably going to take Carrick Asgal, which is going to be then very, very expensive to try to take over. Uh, maybe. Maybe depending on what, what what I capture here in the next few turns. What I steal from... What I steal from Scarbrand. Things like that. Volkmar, what do you want from me? Mm, military access, no. Uh, I just want you to get taken over. One less person to worry about. Okay, Crooked Moon. Yep, so they did take it. Crooked Moon um, is not coming after me. That's always good. I guess at this point, it's le less of the north I have to worry about. You know? But it is a major province, not to mention they do have the gemstones there, which sucks. So let's move, let's continue anyway to move you up north. Misty Mountains and Crad Toman. Do I have any special units in there? Or any special ones? Mm -mm. Nope, nope, okay. I would have put that in there. The, the, the special movement range, or the, or the lack of special movement range, rather. So now we need to put some type of military buildings in here. In the Misty Mountains. And then for you, you get defenses for now since you're kind of right in the middle of everything. Ooh. Are you coming after me? You better not. 
I'm watching you, pal. All right, assassin, where are you moving? Um, you should probably keep moving, if I'm not mistaken. Towards... Yeah, right there. Keep healing as much as you can. Uh, it's going to be a slow, slow going. But you do have one nice infantry unit. You do have some range. Do I want to do anything else here? Do I want to get another one? You do got an artillery piece, so that's good. I don't think we need another grudge thrower. If uh, how, All right, you know what? How about we do a cannon too? Yeah, then the assassin's army is just going to be absolutely loaded to the brim. I have to get one turn things. And that doesn't look like much, so we'll get you. Oh, yeah, running out of money. Let's move you up closer yet. So what in this... Uh, yeah, you can't get anything here. We're going to unlock them eventually, so let's force march yeah. you up. Plus, I'm, plus I'm going to give Crocky uh, one of the Bastilladons. You have a couple units, so you're you're a filler unit, a filler army, if you will. Which way are you going? Okay. Let's check. Oh, so close. So close. We're still, are we gaining on them? Who are you at war with? Ooh, I don't want to call war on them real quick. I, I really don't. I mean, especially when we're so close. Gorok is getting stronger. That's fine. Warden's a living pool. Zlatlan. Yeah, okay. Sigmar is the only one that wants to do anything with us for right now. Numos wants a peace treaty. Of course you do. Allied mission. Scar, where are you? Uh, we'll, just, we'll just accept it. So it's in here somewhere, right? So you must be hidden. Okay. We will take you. Oh, you're down south. Okay. Yeah, we're going to help take out the rest of this territory here. Uh, and then start moving south. Getting close to one more. Uh, one more army. I'm thinking. Oh, I can't do the same one again. Well, uh, maybe feral cold ones then. Yeah, I always like that ability to be able to summon them on top of artillery pieces and things like that. So uh, I think right now this is where we're going to end it. This is probably, I guess we'll do we'll do one more turn. Uh, and they'll probably end it there. A great place to end the episode at. And right now we're just kind of expanding. Moving out, I think it's time for another army. And I think that army... I'm trying to think about how good I want to make that army, you know? And it might just be a basic... Uh, like uh, Just spamming uh, the cohorts of javelins. But just to have another army, you know what I mean? Just to kind of roam around. Maybe take out some minor settlements, things like that, while I go after the main armies and the major settlements. And just kind of own the territory. I do have a second army coming up there to help Krokgar. That's going to help out with this front area. Yeah, see, like these, like here. If I were just to make an army, they could take them out pretty easily. Or, I guess this army could be that. Uh, let's move you in. Let's move you. Oops, let's do this. Let's do this, because we can do it right now, and then we won't have to worry about it, okay? So here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring, we're going to bring Crocky down to finally exchange out some units, okay? So let's do that right now. Crocky needs to heal. Oof, this is, this is bad. All right, so you're going to get a revivification crystal. We're going to give you these two. Croc's also going to get two of the 
Bless Saurus units. Perfect. Do I want to give Crocky the Corollers? I think so. Actual. Yep. All right, so then what can you have in, in place of... Oh, so I need to get rid of two more. So, oh, wait a second. Let's see. So I need to get rid of one more now. Yeah, unless I only bring in one. I could only bring in one just to see how that goes because I do have a couple of speed. Maybe the Stegodon. Uh, all right, let's do... Let's do that for now. Okay. Croc. Can we move in here? No. She's, uh... Sheesh. There. Alright, so, I mean, these four infantry units are going to be pretty good. We got some some range behind them. Some better range behind them. We got a couple speed units. Obviously, our lords are fighters. We have, ra we have air support. Uh, this army might be pretty decent. Might be pretty decent. And can I get anyone else? Now, do I want to put them in there? You have four. Do I want to put any of you or you? No. I think we're okay for now. All right, we're going to go ahead and leave it there then. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, you guys. I appreciate you hanging out here on the 10th episode of Krakar's Modded Campaign. And we are going to absolutely be dominating the north and the west. And we're going to keep expanding. And it might be time for yet a fifth army. Remember, everything we do is in service to the great plan.